So we are on page 15 for the Explain 2 section. We're going to be solving a system of linear and quadratic equations algebraically. And specifically, they only take us through the substitution method. I just don't remember if in previous credits they, they go through different methods. But uh, for whatever reason, we're not going to go through the elimination method. We're only substituting. So um, I will let you read the explain section for yourself. But let's jump into the problem on page 16. And, and here's the basic idea of the substitution method. When you're substituting something, the reason you can substitute it is because you have equal values. For example, if you have uh, if you if you have a five dollar bill and you're asking for change and you get five one dollar bills back, um, that's an acceptable exchange because they have equivalent values. So um, if we keep that analogy, we can substitute. Um, values in algebra if we know that they are equivalent. So for example, let's take these two equations, right? We have y equals uh, x minus 2 squared plus 2, and then we have y plus 4 equals 3x, right? Right now, it's not in a form where we can uh, set them equal to each other um, easily. But if we, if we manipulate the second equation just a little bit, uh, we can get it into a place where where it is equal. So, for example, let's take uh, that second equation, y plus 4 equals 3x, and set it equal to y. And this one's the easier one to work with. Um, I mean, this first one is already set equal to y. So this, this second equation, if we just subtract 4 from both sides, right, we can change the way this equation looks to, to make it look like y equals 3x minus 4. So now... Uh, we have we have this equation here, right? We have this equation. Uh, we have this equation right here. Oops, sorry, sorry about that. This equation right here, and then we have the first equation, uh, y equals uh, x minus two squared plus two, and then uh, let me rewrite the second equation. Y equals three x minus four. Um, and I want here's what I want us to observe. They are both. They both have a y equals, right? And the reason why that's important is because um, now what I can do, since they are both equal to y, let me manipulate this a little bit here, uh, since they're both equal to y, I can actually get rid of this guy and just say this, right? y is equal to both 3x minus 4 and x minus 2 squared plus 2, um, or if we further simplify it, just just this, 3x minus 4 equals x minus 2 squared plus 2. Now, why is it important? Well, before when we had two, two uh, different variables, we couldn't solve it. But now that we have um, simplified this to just solve for x, we can, um, we can solve this equation for y. So let, let's go ahead and do that. Um, 3x minus 4 equals x minus 2 squared plus 2. So from there, um, let's go ahead and solve for x. Uh, and let's see, let's get rid of this guy first. Subtract 2 from both sides. And when we do that, we get 3x minus 6 equals x minus 2 squared. Okay. Now, um, once uh, once we get to this point, you know what we want to do? We probably want to uh, we probably want to expand this out. Let's do that. Three x minus six, and if we expand out um, the x minus two, x minus two, this is x squared, negative two x, negative two x plus four. So on the right hand side, we're going to have x squared minus uh, sorry minus four x, right? Since we have two of them plus 4. Okay, so from here, um, let's see, uh, what we're going to do is, let, I think we can, we might be able to factor this. Let's try this. I'm going to subtract 3x and add 6. So let's get it all done in one shot here. So if we do that, we get 0 equals x squared minus 7x plus 10. And then let's do uh, the x method that we learned in the uh, in the previous credit here. So let's put the 10 up here, negative 7 here. Um, let me see. Um, mm -mm, so negative 2 and negative 5, right? Those will multiply up to 10, add up to negative 7. 
So that's that's it. X minus two, right? X minus five, right? That's the shortcut that we learned from the previous credit, uh, which you probably want to check out if you if you don't know what I'm doing at this point. So there's our two solutions. If we solve those both equal to zero, we get X equals two and five, right? So here's our answer: X equals two and five. Now. We're not done yet because we've solved for x. We haven't solved for y yet, right? So we have two x values. Um, and so we're going to substitute. So step three says we're going to substitute those x values into the original equations to find the corresponding y value. So let's write the two equations here. We get um, y equals, what was it? Um, x minus 2 squared um, plus 2. And the other one was y equals, what was that? Um, 3x minus 4, was it? 3x minus 4. Okay. So, actually, let's work with this one. This one seems to be easier. I don't know why I wrote both. Um, so let me just get rid of this guy right here. Okay. Um, the second one is just easier to work with. So uh, we're going to input 2 and 5 to see what we get uh, for the y, corresponding y values. So y equals 3 times 2 minus 4. Four, and then we're going to try y equals 3 times 5 minus 4 and see what we get here. Um, let's do the first one. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 2 is, oh, 6 minus 4 is 2. So y equals 2 when, um, uh, when x equals 2. And then uh, when x equals 5, what is this? 15 minus 4. So y equals 11. So the corresponding y values are 2 and 11. So when x is 2, y is 2. When x is 5, y is 11. And those are our solutions right there.